Hi, I'm David Lowry. I'm the Chief Fire Marshal for the City of Boulder Fire Rescue, and I'm going to talk a little bit about fire alarms with you today. Every building may or may not have a fire alarm system, and the fire alarm systems are going to vary. Remember, a fire alarm system is required to be inspected by someone who is qualified in fire alarms. So what I'm going to ask for you while you're doing your building inspection is to look at a couple of simple items that could be an indication that the system may not be working or it may not work as intended. Probably the first thing that I want you to look at is if you come across the fire alarm control panel or possibly a remote annunciator near the entrance of the building is that the system shows it has power. You see that by the green light. Makes sense, but that's all that should be present. Often you may read something like the system is normal, but essentially we need power to the system and that's indicated by the green light. There should not be any other lights lit and there should not be any beeping on the fire alarm control panel or the remote annunciator. So fire alarm systems are going to look different from building to building, right? So um, you may see different items associated with the fire alarm system. This is the fire alarm control panel. You're going to have conduit coming into the panel because it requires power and circuits leaving the panel. If you see items like we see here, little red boxes or, uh, or white boxes uh, above it, those are just control modules, nothing that we look at or inspect on these control modules. You may see other sub-panels associated with the fire alarm control panel. Here we see the communicator, right? This is a radio type communicator uh, with this fire alarm control panel. Understand that the communicator is going off-site most of the time to a supervising station. Um, it could depending on where you're at, may go directly to the fire department dispatch, but most often it's to uh, an independent supervising station. It's required to have power. We should not see any uh, other yellow or amber light on at the time of your inspection. There could be other uh, uh, red boxes or beige boxes associated with it. Those are something like junction boxes like you may see here, or they may be power supplies. They just simply need power. You may or may not be able to see a light associated with those boxes. So if the fire alarm control panel is located in a separate room, remember that door is required to be labeled as a fire alarm control room. Fire alarm systems operate off initiating devices like smoke detectors, heat detectors, manual pulls. We'll go inside the building and take a look at some of those devices. Fire alarm systems operate off initiating devices. Depending on the building, you'll have different types of initiating devices. Things like smoke detectors or heat detectors may be present. They'll be mounted on the ceiling throughout the building. Long as they're not obstructed or covered up, they should be fine. Other initiating devices like a manual pull station that can be operated by a person needs to be accessible, it needs to be visible, and it needs to be unobstructed to access. Nothing like uh, plants or machinery or boxes should be put in front of that manual pull. Fire alarms also have what's called notification devices, the horns, the strobes that are associated when the system activates. As long as those are clear and not blocked or covered up by any furniture or paint, they should be fine as well. You'll see wall mounted appliances like you see here. You also can see ceiling mount devices that are mounted in the ceiling. Other fire protection equipment you may find in the building are items like fire extinguishers. Fire extinguishers should be located in the normal means of egress, not necessarily directly next to an exit. They should be mounted so they're accessible, not blocked, not obstructed by any items. They should have a tag on them showing that they've been inspected by a qualified individual at least annually. So to close out about fire alarm systems, remember that they have to have power. We looked at that when we were looking at the panel. We went inside the building and started talking about initiating devices. 
like the manual pull. They should be unobstructed. They shouldn't be blocked or covered up by any means. Notification appliances are made to be visible when uh, the fire alarm activates. Remember, you're doing a visual inspection. The real inspection of the fire alarm system is going to be done by a qualified individual that specializes in those systems.